Well, good morning, adventurers. Hello there. Once again. So last time you guys saw us, we were just uh, hanging out at our friend Chelsea and Brandon's house and uh, working on the outdoor grill, which turned out okay, I think, more or less. It was a somewhat <laughs> success. Yeah, we still have a few little things we have to do to finalize that project, but in general, it works. If you didn't catch that video, we'll link to it on the screen and in the description below. But it was actually my birthday over this last weekend, and uh, we went up to Austin, and we just chilled in an Airbnb, saw some friends, ate tacos every single day. Every day. <laughs> yeah, man, forgot how much we love Austin. <laughs> Such a fun town. But. We're back up in Canyon Lake, and we are actually going to pick up the RV. We didn't tell you guys, but it's been in the shop. Yeah. Don't worry, nothing major. <laughs> well, our idea was basically to get something done on it while we were sitting in Austin doing basically nothing. Um, so we brought it to an RV shop to install a brand new set of steps, because in order to install those, you had to remove the previous welded on ones and weld new ones on there. And I didn't really want to learn how to weld, not Eric just yet. <laughs> was really trying hard to do it himself. Yeah. He really wanted to, but ultimately we decided, for our sanity, it was better if we yeah. let the professionals do it. We also had them fix our seats. I don't know if you guys remember, but we installed some brand new seats and uh, we didn't really put the, the slides on properly and I really didn't feel like taking them off and putting them back on. So they just fixed it up in like, you know, 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all know that we have that little Suzuki Samurai that's being worked on in Florida. That's kind of the reason why we're kind of hunkered down and staying put. We were hoping to be on the road by now, but in classic Endless Adventure fashion, we decided to get an old vehicle that needed a new engine and a ton of other work on it. It. Yeah. <laughs> but the good news is that is all going very well. They took the old engine out. I think they've actually put the new motor in mm -hmm. and they did a whole rubberizer treatment on the bottom of it. So the thing is going to be like brand spanking new oh. with an upgraded engine. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be beautiful and so worth it. And thank you to all of you. I mean like over a thousand of you gave us recommendations oh, yeah. on names for our new Suzuki. We have made a decision, but we are going to tell you quite yet. But we want to say we really appreciate it. We couldn't get back to everyone who gave yeah. us recommendations, but y'all had some wild and wonderful name recommendations yeah. for Stuff us. Stuff I never would have thought of. So yeah, we're thinking we still need a couple weeks on that Suzuki and then we're hoping to have it shipped over. We're gonna have a guy put it on a flatbed and drive it over here so we don't have to make a whole trip over to Florida. Yep. But in the meantime, we're gonna do a few more projects. And one project we really wanted to work on was finally finishing off our home theater system. So you guys saw our projector kind of failed last time. So we got a new projector. We're gonna build a little shel shelf to mount it on. We're gonna customize our projector screen so that it fits perfectly in the spot that it needs to fit in. And it's all gonna work as usual. But first- Or as usual, it's not going to work, but we're gonna somehow <laughs> make it work. Yeah. <laughs> but first we have to go pick up the RV. And on the way, we are going to hit up a new taco place because we, we have not had enough tacos here Never in Texas. Never enough breakfast tacos. I guess that's it. We'll see you at the taco shop. We'll see you at the taco shop. Give you a taste of what I got. I'll let you lick We found an awesome little place here in the town of Canyon Lake called Tacos Don Chente. Comes highly recommended. Woohoo! Check it out. Custom breakfast taco, baby eggs, beans, chorizo, and I put a little avocado on there. Can you believe we're not tired of breakfast tacos yet? <laughs> this is like the hundredth that I've had since we got to Texas. Oh yeah. As usual, it's delicious. With these breakfast tacos, it's really the tortilla that makes it. And of course, when the meat's good, it's really good, but look at the tortilla. It's just deliciously crispy, homemade. I got a chorizo too, but y'all, I also got a cactus breakfast taco. That's what these green things are. If you've never had a cactus taco, I highly recommend it. It's so good. So like a little tangy and I don't know, I like to think it's healthy because it's green. <laughs> All right, now back on the road to pick up the RV. We'll see you there. I don't know. All right, y'all, there she is. Huh? Oh, that's so much nicer. <laughs> How about you know, that? This is honestly something that I I just thought we were gonna live with our entire life with this RV, having janky stairs. Oh man. Oh my god, they don't move at all. The old ones used to bounce up and down as you'd walk up. It was like being on a diving board when you stepped on it. And these ones also stick out a little bit further, so it makes it much easier to climb in. Yeah. Look at that. So he actually removed the previous steps and then welded these on. Looks like a good weld too. I'm so happy. 
I'm very happy. Right, and we cool. didn't have to do anything. Yes. My favorite part. <laughs> All right, now we gotta see if the slides on these seats actually work. Oh, y'all, oh my gosh. Previously, we couldn't get it to slide far enough forward when I drove. So I had, my leg was like fully extended. <laughs> yeah, I felt she, bad when she had to drive. <laughs> our seats are so comfy and now the ride is gonna be so comfy because I can reach. Yes. And again, we didn't have to do anything. Ta -da! But I guess we're gonna hit the road, leave RV land, go to back RV hell land <laughs> and get some projects done, baby. <laughs> that branch for me? <laughs> Don't worry, I got you, babe. What would I do without you? Ah, my way more. Whoopsie. Okay. How's that? I think that's good. Okay. So here is the plan, baby. We are going to make a shelf that looks just like this. We're gonna put it under our cabinet and then our little projector is gonna sit right there. If this doesn't make any sense at all, as usual, it will by the end of this video. Hopefully by the end of this day, because this has got to be a one-day project, right? We've said that like maybe 500,000 times. Yeah, we, and it's never actually happened, but maybe today <laughs> but will be the so day. this is so easy. It's got to be, right? But anyways, cue awesome slow motion cutting and assembly shots. What do y'all think about our awesome clamp job over here? Woohoo! Can you tell which part's the shelf and which part is not related to the shelf at all? This might take the cake for the funniest clamping job yeah, I, we've ever done. I think we've done worse jobs than you this. You think so? I've created a monster. Who's your little <laughs> friend here? We clamped the hell out of this thing. <laughs> Check that out. But we really wanted to just glue this in place. We didn't want to use any screws, but it was kind of hard to do it without it just always falling over. So this is what we came up with. I yeah, think it's, it's pretty decent. Working, we'll see. But you know, it's staying upright and that's what matters. Ooh, baby, I love your boy. Every day. That's all I know of that song. <laughs> all right, a projector shelf has been assembled, it has been stained. We have our first coat of poly on there. It is drying in the very, 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 very hot sunshine. Y'all, it's almost 100 okay. degrees Fahrenheit today. While that is drying, you know us, we always have other fun projects going on. So this is a little shelf we also constructed today. It is going to sit on the wall just like this. So we have these little jars that are gonna go in there and they're gonna have some little dried plants and one little air plant. We got a cheeky one with boobies on it. <laughs> I don't know why it has boobies on it, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we both saw it at the plant shop and we were like, that's really funny. And then if you don't know what's in there and you come in and you see boobs, surprise boobs, always good, right? I think it's gonna work out, except if you can see here, we made it too small, so These they don't- These were supposed to fit perfectly in here and then we were gonna kind of adhere them down. <laughs> but we forgot that to do that, we were gonna put these little pieces on edge instead of flat. Yeah, and, and we, we completely forgot about that. So I blame the heat, it's so hot I can't <laughs> think. But so now we're going down a weird rabbit hole trying to rectify this when probably we should just rebuild it, but- I'm not rebuilding Eric's it. Eric's refusing to rebuild it. It's way too hot for that, y'all. <laughs> I'd rather just fix it somehow. So our current plan is to make little notches in the back to fit them perfectly, to, you know, to make it look like this is what we meant to do. And we're trying to figure out if there's a way to do that with the Dremel. This thing's crazy. Oh, you can turn it down. Whoa. Oh, that helps. <laughs> for some reason, we have yet to actually use a Dremel. First time for everything when you're working on this RV though. Go oh, show. That works surprisingly well. This Wait, might... it looks professional. Does it? I don't it know is. about that. Using that word loosely, but yeah, uh -huh. this will kind of work. A lot of dust. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> God. Check it out. See, that works more or less. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's going to work. Y'all, we've kind of learned that when we completely screw something up, not to get too bent out of shape about it because 99% of the time there's a solution that doesn't involve rebuilding the whole piece. And what he means is get really bent out of shape at first, 
And then calm down and don't get out, bent out of shape. I didn't get that angry about this one, all right? <laughs> I've been much more angry in the past. All right, this is gonna work. Cheers. We accidentally made the cutest little outdoor table ever. <laughs> but this is actually obviously our shelf. It's mounted upside down. But when you flip it over, isn't it so cute? Yeah, it's like a little picnic table. It Look is. At it. <laughs> All right, but anyways, we're just goofing around. We got to go install this thing now. Wait, we're goofing around right now? Yeah, you thought we were really going to have some tea? Yeah, I was ready. And These now cups my... are all dirty anyway. Ah! Well, my butt's stuck in here, so this is me for the rest of the day. This is Maya, by the way. She's the sweetest little pug in the land, right? <laughs> huh? Right? Oh, my. Uh... Come on, Maya. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Oh, God. Okay. Are you the best pug? Are you the best pug? Maya. Yeah. <gasps> Maya. <laughs> <laughs> officially have our shelf installed and we have our little projector mounted on it mm -hmm. turned on and all the lights off and now we're trying out our screen so this is our plan with this we have this fabric screen so it's very very light and it can fold up we put a couple dowel rods in here just to make it taut and then we have these little gold hooks that we're gonna attach here somewhere which is what we're figuring out right now <laughs> and that's gonna hold the screen right now it's just a big shadow of the camera there but yeah it fits like perfectly it's gonna be so cool and perfect yeah. Now we just got to figure out how to not screw this up. But while, too, we are. while we're screwing yeah. things up. I was going to make that joke too, oh. obviously. Too <laughs> obvious. <laughs> we have made our decision. Hooks are going in. There's no turning back. Unless we would fill and paint these. But I'm so feeling, there is turning back. There is turning back. But I'm feeling confident that we will not have to do that. Although it does always feel pretty terrible messing up our construction. I hate putting holes in things. plant holder shelf is done. How cute is this, you guys? We decided to put this little bit of leather that we got from Hobby Lobby around the edge, and I think it brought the entire thing together. It also hid our crappy joinery that we did in there, but man, I was telling her this looks like some little craft that you would buy at Hobby Lobby, don't you think? It does. We way, way overdid it, but we did, indeed. it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool wall feature installed. We have we some did. greenery. Now that we're pretty much done with everything, I feel like we have too much time to think about all these little projects and we're just getting too crazy with it. As you saw with this little thing, yeah, we took way too much time way to make. Over engineered, but I mean, come on, is this not cool or what? It's so cool. And as you can see, we even put these little hooks in here so you can hang your keys on here and then you can hang your coats or hats down here. I'm sure already in the comments, y'all are already like, oh my God, these are gonna go flying off. They're just sat up there. They're not just sat up there. We glued these suckers down. We so didn't just glue them, we super we glued them. Super glued them. So they them. aren't going anywhere. So we realized with a lot of our projects, we kind of forget to tell you guys all the details of the projects. So like our grill outside, you know, we built that and then we sat our charcoal grill on there and y'all were like, it's going to bounce around. We know this. We're going to fasten it down. We yeah. just haven't quite figured it out. It's just one of those things. We don't think we have to say all those little details, but if I we mean, don't, you guys will let us know. We definitely <laughs> know that we're living in an RV because we have been living in an RV and things move around. So we know to secure things. Everything is either glued or taped or screwed down. I, I mean, even this magnetized, magnetized. All these have you know, locking mechanisms on them. Oh yeah. After a few uh, drives where everything came flying out of the cabinets, we learned a lesson. All right, but we're super excited to get, our, to get our cute little art project on the wall. And now it is time to put our projector to use and get our movie watching on. But we need popcorn first, right? Yes, sir. You can't watch a movie without popcorn. Fact. You can, but you shouldn't. You should not. We're 
trying to make homemade popcorn. I don't know, you guys. I think we're messing it up. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm scared we're burning it. <laughs> Open up for a second. I don't know, it's gonna pop everywhere. Well, let's just see if they're popping. Woohoo! Check that out. Oh, Ooh, it works. Okay. Popcorn for the lady. Thank you. Only slightly burnt. Yeah, it didn't turn out as good this time, but I swear we've done this before and it, it turned out really good the first time. But check it out, y'all. It's finally happening. We are watching TV in our home theater system. We got a projector up there on our fancy little shelf with a uh -huh. little fern over there. We've got our projector screen over here with Jerry Seinfeld's giant face on it. <laughs> and we are chilling. We have it connected via Bluetooth to our speakers up here. So we don't have to do anything. We got Netflix on the projector. We don't have to connect anything to it. Nope. You just hit play. There you go, baby! We finally did it, you guys. I feel like we posted our first video about making our home theater over a year ago. Yeah. We were so excited. We built this whole contraption. We put in the speakers and everything. And now, a year later, it's really happening. Back then, it was a couple fold-out chairs in a nasty, dank <laughs> hole. And now, it's super <laughs> comfortable, chill pad, y'all. Right now, we just have a door stopper propped under our projector. But we're, gonna, we're just testing it out, and we're going to put a proper... Thing under there to keep it tilted we're gonna fix everything down so nothing's gonna bounce out it's all gonna be permanent you guys saw that we put two dowels in here we're also gonna put two dowels down here to make this more taut because you can see the screen flaps a little bit yeah i would argue it's still quite watchable but it'd be nice to like pull it a bit tighter all right goodbye adventurers we'll see you on the road